Welcome back as we move on to describe typical repair procedures, sometimes called running repairs. We wish to mention that extracts from other Tech AV programs will be shown in this section. A very common repair to any oil lubricated machinery is an oil seal replacement. We shall now overview a typical procedure. It is usually necessary, using the relevant tools and procedures, to remove any accessory devices such as couplings or pulleys first in order to gain access to an oil seal. A method used to replace a metal case seal without removing a bearing retainer is to drill holes into the seal case carefully in order to fit self-tapping screws. The seal is then removed, as shown, using a suitable pry bar. When it is necessary to remove the retainer, or oil catcher, the old seal is easily knocked out using a suitable sized dolly. Having now removed the old seal carefully, clean and check the seal bore area. Clean up any high spots or burrs that could interfere with the entry and seating of the new seal. Inspect the shaft where the seal runs. Any damage in this area will quickly wreck a new seal. Ideally, damage here will require the fitment of a sleeve or the replacement of the shaft. Small imperfections may be dressed using abrasive cloth or a dressing stone. It is important that the bearing be protected from any ingress of abrasive material. Turning now to the new seal, be sure to select the proper size and type as recommended by the manufacturer or by comparing the seal manufacturer's number with that of the old seal where this is possible. Prepare the new seal by oiling the lip using the type and grade of oil for the reducer. Use a suitable fitting sleeve to slip the seal over the shaft thus preventing damage to the sealing lip. With metal case seals, apply a soft sealing agent to the outer edges and then carefully tap the seal into position using a suitable dolly. The use of pin punches or sharp tools is not recommended for the installation of seals. Clean away surplus sealant and check that the new seal has been fully positioned into its counterbore. When replacing a seal into a removed retainer, we recommend the use of a press and a dolly. Be sure to fit the seal in such a way that the spring side faces the bearing. The dolly, if used correctly, will ensure that the seal is fitted squarely to its full depth within the retainer. The installation of the cover is made, as demonstrated, using a protector sleeve and ensuring that the lip has been oiled. Remember at this time to replace any gaskets, together with any shims that were removed during dismantling. Before returning the unit to service, check the oil level and top up as necessary. Extra information on rotary shaft oil seal maintenance and selection criteria is available in other Tech AV productions. In this program, we have highlighted the important points you need to know about routine type maintenance. This brings us to the end of program number two in this series. You can learn more about reduction unit maintenance in following programs.